Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Jimmy Allen and you're watching the Jimmy Allen Daily Update series. And this is episode five. We're on the fifth day. That's crazy. Um, this isn't about doing uh, perfect uploads, but it's about uploading consistently for 40 days. And so that is the, the muscle that we're flexing over the next 40 days. Um, the updates are basically across topics like uh, life and marriage and uh, work, business, fatherhood, fitness, diet, things like that. Um, I actually just got back from the gym, and so uh, fitness is on my mind a little bit. And um, man, I am like hounding for some sugar right now. So I just did a few little um, chocolate covered espresso beans. Man, I really hope that doesn't come back to bite me uh, when it's time to go to bed here in a little bit. It's about 10, 15 at night. And so today I want to talk about, uh, gosh, I, I don't even have a, like a, a topic for it really. But it's, I think if I had to assign a topic to it, it would be comfort zones. So my wife and I were doing a little bit of planning. I would zoom in on this whiteboard stuff back behind me. Um, but the mode that I'm on right now, I don't think I can, yeah, I can zoom. I can just tell it to, uh, oh, nice. It tracks my face. Cool. So we've done some planning. We said, what does one year out look like? And then the subsequent year through the three year mark and then the five year mark. And then maybe it's hard for anybody to really say what does, um, what does 10 years out look like, but you can be bold. You can be audacious, uh, and, and try to you know, uh, plan for things like that. So, um, we just talked through like across all, even like those facets that I'm, that I'm talking about on these, um, on these updates, it's, um, what does our life look like? What does our marriage look like? How many kids do we have? How many, um, how many houses do we own? Right. If you start to get crazy with ideas like that. Um, but we charted, we charted all this stuff out and, you know, it's funny, it's like you plotted point A, which is where you're at, and then you plot point B, which is your destination, and then it's time to start solving on how do you get from point A to point B. That's where things get incredibly un uncomfortable, and uh, it requires change, and it requires growth, and I'm going through it. <laughs> uh, I just made it actually a really huge decision today, and... What I loved was that um, my wife was in support of it the entire time. She like totally understood that, hey, if we're gonna if we're gonna do this thing, if we're gonna make these changes, if we're gonna hit like revenue goals and uh, household income goals and things like that, it's going to take drastic change. Um, so I actually signed up for a coaching program today, and it was not cheap. Um, it's not the most expensive thing. Um, I've bought more expensive things before. But it is incredibly uncomfortable. Um, I think it's it's uncomfortable for me because I've always been the guy who uh, who knows things. Like, gosh, part of me wishes that I didn't grow up here having people tell me like, "Oh, Jimmy, you're so smart. Oh, Jimmy, you're you're this and this." It's like, no, tell me, tell me I'm bad, and then you know I'll go fix it or something. I don't know. But I've. I've gotten really comfortable being uh, in rooms where I'm the smartest guy and I'm pouring into others and I'm helping and I'm serving and it. And honestly, it's like, it's A, what I love and B, it's all I've really known. Uh, people need help. I jump in and help them. Uh, people want to learn. I educate them. And now this is one of the first times in probably in like the last decade where I've sat down and said, if I'm so smart, why are things staying the same and why are we not growing and why are things not changing and that required you know a little bit of you know, a little bit of knife in the chest like oh no maybe i'm not as great as i thought i was but that's okay um we can have a little bit of humility on that and say like you know it, it, it makes sense like you weren't doing anything to grow you weren't doing anything to change you were doing the same things over and over again and that doesn't mean that those same things are bad, but if you want this up here, you got to change, right? So we're in the coaching program 
And uh, I joined this coaching program because I, you know, I'm, I'm friends with the guy and we have a, we have a good history going back and like we've worked together in the past and I've hired him for services on different stuff I was doing. And he, uh, he was posting some like, uh, like the testimonials, but also like the evidence of his coaching program. And then he would say things like, you can get like, get this outcome. And by the way, they did it with no ads. And my, my Dober many years go, hmm? like, no ads. If no one knows this about me, ads stress the daylights out of me. The meta ad suite, oh my gosh, I, I hate it. It is one of the most stressful things in the entire world to me. So if someone is doing really incredible results and you don't have to, you know, learn ads or deal with ads or anything like that, I'm like, oh my gosh, sign me up. So then I get to talking with them. He spells it out for me. We got on a call, we get to talking and he goes, yeah, uh, I was able to do this and this, um, you know, in the last, uh, in the last year, I was able to hit, hit this specific number. And I was like, oh, that dude, that's amazing. That's like, that's so good. And obviously I'm like, not trying to like be envious or anything, but I was like, dang, like that would be really cool if I was able to hit something like that. Um, and then I go, hey, just out of curiosity, like what were the, what were the deliverables on that stuff you were selling? And he's like, you mean like, like what I sold to make that much money? And I was like, yeah, yeah. What did you sell? And he goes, five day challenge funnels. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I, I kid you not. I like, I slapped my hand down on the table and I leaned back and I busted out laughing because I've been like, I help people build funnels kind of like as a side, like a side hustle kind of thing. And this guy, this guy's doing it for way more money than I've done it. And I'm just like, okay, I, I can't afford not to learn from you at this point. Like it just, it it broke my brain a little bit. Like I'll just be transparent. I I, I did a five day challenge funnel for for uh, for a friend of mine. Um, he's, a, he's a great friend and we were doing it for uh, for men who um, needed guidance across like fitness and, and spirit and, um, nutrition and stuff like that. And, um, I didn't charge, did not charge what I was worth. Um, I, and I didn't want to because I was helping out a friend and it was for a really good cause. We were like, the mission was to go and help, help, uh, men across all these facets. And dude, I just, I thought about the number that I made. And I thought about the number that he made and I was like, that's what I just told my, I just shouted out loud. I was like, what the bleep am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I found it. I found the solution. I know the path forward. I know the way it's the coaching program. So that's going to help us. Like you can see some lines up here. There's like, there's some gaps, like where we want to go, what we want to do, some little arrows and stuff. We're doing it. We're executing on the plan. I have a path forward, at least for the next year. Like I know that much. And um, I think it's gonna be really good. It's gonna stretch us, it's gonna push us. But you know, honestly, who wants to stay the same anyways, you know? So anywho, I hope this encourages somebody to uh, take some drastic action. And if it, t if it means going outside of yourself or the immediate sphere of influence that you have in order to achieve drastic results for yourselves, send it, go get it done. All right. I'll see you guys on the next upload day number six of the Jimmy Allen daily update series. See ya.